Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Wednesday, August 14th. Well, another rebound in the markets yesterday. We had the S&P come back up three and three quarters points on the day, 1690 and three quarter. The high was 1694 and a half. The low 1679 and three quarters. So it held that 1680 pivot and bounced right back. The Dow finished up 24, 15,411. The big mover was in the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ was up 13, 31, 37. New 13 year highs in the NASDAQ index yesterday, 13, uh, at 3148, with Apple leading the way in pushing the tech shares higher. The dollar index added 44, 81, 82. The euro lost 50 points, 132.62, below that 133 threshold right now. 132.20 was the low of yesterday to keep an eye on. Bond market sold off a point and a half yesterday, 132.20. 132.12 was the low. We've been below 132 here just one time, so we'll look to see if this 132 can hold as a support level. Crude oil added 72 cents, 106.83. 107.20 was yesterday's high, and then the 108 level were the recent highs we want to keep an eye on. Gold gave back a little bit yesterday, down $13.50, $13.20.5 in the December contract. December really has more open interest and more volume than the front month October, so we'll keep an eye on December from here on out. So after the reversal once again, many days in a row in the S&P, where do things stand on this Wednesday morning to start a new trading day? We're down a little bit. We're down one and three quarters at 1689 in the E-mini S&P. We're down 10 in the Dow futures, 15,400. The NASDAQ still positive, up another two at 3139. Again, the focus was on Apple with that $25 move yesterday because it's such a large percentage of the NASDAQ index. The dollar index is steady, up seven, 81.88. That pushes the euro down 15, 132.47. Bonds are steady right now at 132.22, but the yields have really climbed up here. The yield on the 30-year treasury is at 3.75, and the yield on the 10-year note is at 2.7, with 2.8, that very hard resistance up above of the midpoint of the last five years. Crude oil is off 80 cents with a stronger dollar over the past couple days. 105.60, so we'll want to see if we can hold 105. It's down 80 cents as we stand right now. And gold is up $4 at 13.24 and a half, right in the middle of that 1300 to 1350 range that uh, we've been looking at to give us some keys for the next move. So to wrap up the current action, two hours to go before the stock market opening here. We're down one and three quarters in the E-mini S&P 1689, down 10 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Thursday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities. Mm -hmm.